All right, welcome to the Answers to Your Questions part four. Thank you all for joining me, and let's get started. Okay, Blue Makeup Lover asked, what was your first MAC product? I think my first MAC product was a lipstick in, um, I can't remember the name, but I'm sure I'll put it as an annotation. I don't know why I can't remember it. Anyway, it's like a bright pink amplified lipstick. Don't ask me why that was my first product, but it was. Why did you start get on YouTube? Who inspired you to start it on to get started on YouTube? Um, I didn't really get inspired by anyone. It was just that all my favorite YouTubers were changing their accounts and going away. Like when Thirty Aya Thirty Aya changed to Thirty Eight Make Thirty Up Thirty Eight Girl, there was a long period of time in between those channels. So I was kind of like left you know, watching no one, and then I started watching other people, but then they disappeared too. So that's why I started. I wanted to give the people the, like another person to watch. This on my booty, one, two, three, who is one of my contest winners, so yay, asked, what shampoo and conditioner do you use? I use Bumble and Bumble Cocoa uh, shampoo and conditioner. It smells like coconuts, and you can get it at CVS. Really good. What is the next thing you're going to buy at MAC? Uh, the next thing I'm going to buy at MAC? I really don't know. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing. I get there and I'm like, whoa, that's cool. And then I pick it up if I want to. But I don't really have like a plan right now. Do you like sour things like lemons? Yes. Oh my God. I love lemons. But then my mom told me it's bad for my teeth. And I care about my teeth like a lot. I really care about them. So I stopped like eating them. But I absolutely love sour things. I used to eat lemons all the time. And I get a lot of questions about why my teeth are so white. It's because I brush them a lot. Not that I brush them a lot, but I take care of them. Like, I really do. I take care of my teeth, and I always have. Um, where were you, were you born with thick hair? Um, my mom always told me that I was born with straight hair. Mom? 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 Was I born with straight hair? I'm answering a question. I'm making a video, but I wanted to know, was I born with straight hair? Yeah. Yeah, she said I was born with straight hair. <laughs> um, Mac or Sephora? Mac. But I like brands in the Sephora store, so. Can I have a cookie? <laughs> I don't have one right now. But if I had one, I'd give it to you. Um... Hot Pink Love 09. What keeps you going? What makes you want to do YouTube videos? You guys. Like, I'm serious, you guys. If I had zero subscribers and no one was watching me and I just felt like, what's the point? Then I wouldn't keep going. But you guys just so, like, show such a, like, passion for my videos. You come at me all the time saying I'm an inspiration and that you trust my opinion, and that just makes me feel so great. I'm like, how could I leave you guys? Like, honestly, if you've been in my youth streams, I tell you guys, I'm never, ever going to leave. I will be here for as long as I can. I will be here until college, and I'll be making videos in my dorm room. I'm not even kidding. I will. Like, I could never leave you guys. I just love you guys so much. I'm not even kidding at all. Um... Pretty Lizzie asked, what ethnicity are you? I answered this before, Brazilian, Lebanese, and American. Do wear a lot of makeup. Not usually, only when I go out, like for occasions, I put on like the extra foundation and the extra eyeliner and stuff like that. But normally, I'm just doing neutral looks and stuff like that. And sometimes I do a little dramatic for the videos, just for you guys. Do, oh, sorry. Why in your videos, you never have any makeup on unless you're doing a tutorial? That's usually why, because I usually don't wear any makeup that often. And I usually make my videos to you guys when I'm home, chilling out. So I don't feel the need to, like, look completely fancy. Like, with makeup and all, like, when I make videos with, like, makeup on, sorry, that was weird. Um, like, one of the videos I made, I had makeup on, it was because I was going out to dinner. Or I just came back from dinner, or I'm going out. Because, like, I don't know, I just feel like it's wasting makeup. If you're not going to wear it for a good amount of time and there's a purpose to it, why wear it, you know? Like, you should cherish your makeup, especially MAC. Um, can you do a tutorial on your mom? I really don't know. I do makeup on her all the time, but that's a good idea, so I probably will. Um, Babalu asked, how many times a year do you get your hair cut? I get my hair cut every, like, two months, just like a trim. 
JMBJWB26 asks, do you ever get bored making videos? Never. I never get bored making videos. Like, I've never wanted to leave YouTube because, again, I love you guys and I know you guys really enjoy my videos, so I would never, like... And I've experienced a lot of, like, heartbreak when it comes to YouTube. When people leave and stop making videos, I just feel terrible. And I hate it, unless they have a great reason to. Like, Coconutty222 had a great reason to, and... A bunch of people have had good reasons to leave but when people just leave because they're getting tired of it it's like it's not a job make a few videos for crying out loud if you have 6,000 subscribers unless you have like your account got closed there's predators or psychos out there then I understand but if it's just a few haters or if you're getting kind of bored with YouTube don't treat the people that like you the most like that don't like don't just think about yourself think about the people who watch you like when I make videos I'm not self-centered at all I make these videos because I know you guys enjoy them and that's what keeps me going I never like think to myself when I ever feel like if I ever had a doubt about like staying on YouTube which that's never happened I would never think what would I do I would think like how would I affect the people that would watch me um how old are you? I'm 14. Do you like the Mets? I don't really know. I mean, I'm like a Red Sox fan, but I guess they're okay. Brunette Dork X3 asks, do you buy things animal tested? Yes, I do, because sometimes I don't even know they're animal tested until after I use them and stuff like that. I know it's awful, and I would never buy it intentionally because it's animal tested or anything like that. But then again, it's like, I really don't know. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, do you pay yourself when you go to the mall? Yes. Most of the time. If it's like my birthday or my mom's treating me, then yes. Then no. Um, do you like your job? I love my job. I really I love it. Um, are they good questions? <laughs> yes, they're great questions. Um, Katie Bella asked, what's your favorite MAC lipstick? Hmm. I really love Lollipop Loving. What's your favorite product from Clinique? I really like their lip glosses. They're like Super Shine lip glosses, SPF. Those are really good. Um, what's your favorite nail polish brand, OPI? What's your favorite season? Uh, probably summer. Um, Lauren G267 asked, What's your middle name? What is your ethnicity? Ethnicity. Um, I already answered the ethnicity. Ethnicity thing before but my middle name is Rose but it's also Rahal so I have two middle names um what's your favorite makeup look example I like Kim Kardashian JLo and Nicole from the Pushycat Dolls um hmm I really like Hayden Panettiere's makeup looks she does really pretty like well I don't know if she does it herself but I really like what she wears on her eyes smallish bear 20 asks do you like Harry Potter I've never read all the books, and I don't really keep up with it, so that's not really a sign of, like, I, I love it. But, I mean, it's okay. Oh, Jewel asked, where did you get your Shiba Inu, and how old is she? She's three years old, and um, my it was kind of a big, long story about Mia. I'll make a video about her, but my mom gave the lady her wrong email address, so we never knew she was coming, so she came, like, she came, and we didn't know about it. So she, like, the woman called mom. She's like, oh, I should just ship the dog tonight, so she should be here. She, I shipped the dog yesterday. She should be there in, like, an hour. My mom's like, are you kidding me? I haven't bought anything, and we weren't even sure if we wanted her. So it was kind of a sign, but, yeah. And the next question is, do you have any pet peeves? And I think I'll answer that after this because I don't want to go over time or anything. And sometimes when I make them after 9 minutes and 30 seconds, it takes forever to upload. So I'm just going to say goodbye now. But I will see you guys soon for part 5. Ciao.